Well, that's annoying. Now you may remember on this video, I said this. This one here, I've got a pin there. It goes in like that. So that will sit on there like that. Now that one, I'm actually fairly happy with that actually, because that's quite a solid, the joint in there, I'll move it around. The joint in there is quite good. That's quite a solid joint. Uh, and the joint in the hip, as it were, that's quite good as well. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm gonna glue them in place. And it was fine. Everything worked beautifully. Left the mini on the side, came back 48 hours later and found this. Well, that's distressing. And the worst bit, where the super glue is shattered, it's changed the shape of the surface of the two joints coming together. So you can't get it to get a firm hold anymore. So can I fix this or is it going in the bin? Well, let's have a look. Okay, so having a look at this, the sockets on the legs are currently full of glue. That's not a major drama, that's not too difficult to clean out. Also, as I mentioned earlier on, the dry glue has now changed the shape of the joint. So first of all, I'm gonna carefully clean that away. So testing it with the dry fit is still not fitting right. So therefore, I think I need to start again on this one. So I'm gonna remove the kind of the, the pin, the nub, which would normally go into the socket on the leg. So I'll take that off, file it down, and then I'm gonna re-drill the whole thing and pin it properly. Now, just to make life that little bit more complicated, because the arm sponsons on here are well and truly stuck in place, so I don't want to risk either bending them out of the way or trying to work them loose, because I don't want them to snap. So I'll try and use a longer drill bit than I normally would, and just hope I don't snap the bit, because that would be emotional. And yes, it's not going in at a completely 90 degree angle to the surface. But when I put the wire in, I could then bend it into the position I want it to be. It's not ideal, but I'm hoping it'll work. So generally using the snippers like a pair of pliers, I'm going to work the wire pin into the hole. Okay, so having glued that in place, it's now time to drill through the leg. Having dry fit it, I'm happy with that. And I'll now use super glue to glue it in place. Now we're not finished, but I'm gonna pause things just there very quickly. So I just want to say thank you to everyone for all their support so far as me and Ben have started this crazy journey with you. If you're getting value from this video, please give the video a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm to spread it to more people. Also, if you are liking our content, I really hope we can earn you as a subscriber today as well. Anyway, back to the build. And now having done the other leg in exactly the same way, it's now time to pin the ankle joints. Ugh. And I will admit, drilling metal with a twist drill is not my biggest idea of fun. If I had lots of these to do, I think I'll definitely invest in an electric hobby drill. Right, so having put the pins into the holes in the ankle joints, I'm gonna snip them off just to, so they're rough with the length, being careful not to let the metal ping off. Exit because I don't, don't want to waste it, also because I don't want to get lost and ending up in a dog's paw or something. Dry fitting the whole model onto the base. I'm quite happy with that. Need to fiddle around with the lengths of the ankle pin a little bit. But yeah, that's not too bad. I was expecting to have to do some filling in here, some gaps, but that's looking pretty good actually. I think I quite like that. Okay, so this little sucker is not coming apart anymore. So the question remains, what clown and color scheme should we paint this guy? Drop your ideas in the comments and I may well use your idea to paint this guy up. And I'll see you there on this video here.